Hey, this is Dr. Ol from Science Buddies. In today's science experiment, you will learn how to make kombucha. Kombucha is a fermented drink made from a biofilm of microorganisms. This biofilm breaks down sugar and tea into acetic acid and organic acids. In this science project, you'll investigate what sweetener and tea the biofilm prefers to use. To make your kombucha solution and test its biochemistry, you will need a few materials. Check out our full materials list at the link in the description. First, you will need to boil filtered or bottled water to brew the tea in. Next, you will brew the tea for five minutes. Then add the sweetener substrate to the warm tea and mix until the sweetener dissolves. Then mix additional filtered or bottled water with the warm sweetened tea together in a large jar. Once the diluted tea is at room temperature, add the SCOBY biofilm and starter culture to the jar. Now that you've made your kombucha solution, you can measure the pH or acidity of the starting solution with pH paper. You can also measure the temperature of the solution. Interestingly, you can measure the sugar content or density of the solution using a refractometer. To use the device, first check the calibration of the refractometer by adding filtered water to the prism assembly under the cover plate. The reading should be zero if the device is properly calibrated. To test your solution, obtain a small sample from your jar. Flip up the cover plate to expose the top of the prism assembly and pipette a few drops of solution onto it. Gently put the cover plate down over the liquid to create a smooth layer as bubbles can impact your reading. Move the eyepiece up to your eye to see the reading and record your results. After you're done with your readings, make sure to cover the solution to prevent contamination from flies or pets. Create a few different kombucha solutions with different sweeteners or tea substrates. Compare and contrast their overall fermentation times and biochemistries. Fermentation takes time, so make sure to take readings consistently over four weeks to see how the biofilm facilitates biochemical changes to the kombucha solution. For more detailed instructions on performing this experiment yourself, use the link in this video's description. For more projects like this, visit sciencebuddies.org. Thank you for watching and see you next time.